Oh yes, it is Disney list time, where we list our favorite and least favorites um, of every topic that we come across. And today, the Disney list is all about the top three most favorite Disneyland attractions from our very own Katrina Manzoni. Ladies and gentlemen, here she is in all of her glory. Katrina, where do we even begin for Disneyland Park? Top three best attractions in your mind. Take it away. I am so excited. I really, I was even telling Tyler, I'm like, I can't limit it to three. <laughs> she, was I, she was struggling for sure. I, was I bet. so hard. I was like, there's so many great, great, great rides. Okay, so I like had to dwindle it down. So if I miss any, you know it's probably one of my favorites anyway. <laughs> uh, so first off, Peter Pan. Oh, what Love a classic. It. And I do have to say, like, I'm sure like my mom's like listening to this right now and be like, I thought you hated that ride. And I was like, when I was four, I did not like this ride because it was scary. Like you go into this like really dark area and you fly. And yeah. I was like, oh, uh-uh. Uh, but now I adore it. Uh, so it's just really magical because you get to go on a magical ship and it takes you in the air and you fly over London and then... And then when you're like looking down in the ride, you get to see London alive with all the cars going around. And then you see Big Ben like smack dab in mm -hmm. the middle. And then if you catch it, I think this was like brand new on the refurb yes. um, with the projection. And I think that so there's a projection when you you have to be very careful, like you have to like watch it because <laughs> you'll miss it. But when you make your round, you'll look at the Big Ben clock and then you'll see Peter Pan like landing with the darling children right on the on the clock and Aww. you just and I and it's just one of those like magical things where mm -hmm. you're just like did I just see what I just saw <laughs> like this is crazy and then because unlike um in Florida theirs is just like a moon and it just like turns and it just cycles around Big so whoop. it's not very like magical anyway so I just think that was like a huge improvement which made me love it even more uh and then just even just going and it's a very quick ride compared to like mm. the one in Florida yeah. Um, how long is it? It's like a minute? Yeah. Probably a minute. Feels like 30 seconds. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But there's just like so much information crammed and all their new additions that they added with like the waterfall, just like the water, just like around, um, around like the, the, like the ship with like Captain Hook and stuff. It's just like really amazing. And uh, I love that ride. I don't know about you guys. You it say, is a, a true classic that if if the line isn't an hour long, which it seems to be anytime I walk by, um, yeah. I, I I will absolutely jump in. And uh, it's one of those attractions that you know, especially if I'm with people who are visiting who only come once in a great while, I will absolutely wait. Yeah, it's worth yeah. waiting for uh, because everybody deserves that experience. Everybody deserves to to see it for themselves. Um, a, a Walt Disney, you know, true original. Uh, it is, yeah. and you feel it. I think the really great, oh, sorry, do you want to? Go ahead. Me? Oh, okay. So before I forget, so if you have the Disney Play app, I would say do it while you're in line to kind of mm. help pass by the time. And then when you're actually done with the ride, you they have like a really cool like little ending to your Disney Play app, um, I don't know, adventure. I've never done that. Uh, so it's actually really cool. I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but... There's a physical thing that can There's happen in the park. There's a physical thing that happens oh, yeah. right when you exit and you say, like, you completed your adventure. Oh, something happens. And it's just like, nice. oh, I love it. So I think that's, like, a really great addition. Anyway, continue. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I was just going to say that it's one of those it's one of those things that that ride is so unique. I mean, the only ride I can think of besides um, Peter Pan that does the kind of flying thing is E.T. over mm -hmm. Universal. And and uh so that is one of the things that I think makes it so popular because you don't get to experience a, f a kind of flying adventure like that anywhere else. Um, there, there is something, I, and maybe it's you know the child in all of us that always dreamt of flying. I think every kid at one point dreams of what that would be like. Sure. And here you are in a pirate ship, you know, sailing off from yeah. uh, the nursery and out into the the you know streets of London and over Big Ben. And you're absolutely right, just a really sort of captivating. And I think as a child, you know. It, being being young and sort of afraid of that sort of thing, it's because your imagination runs wild. Mm -hmm. You believe that all of this is happening. I to didn't you. want to fly when I was a kid. I was scared. I, was I don't like, want to uh -oh. fall out of the. I'll sit in the carousel. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> nice and stationary on on the ground. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. know where it is, but this one was just. But now it's like it's so cool to have that like weightless feeling, and yeah. you're just flying because it's not. It's again like it's nothing like w they have anywhere else, really. I mean, E.T., but that's in Florida. I mean, and, and by <laughs> ride mechanic standards, it's very simple. 
You know, it's yeah. just a simple ride and simple attraction in Disney speak, and it's one of those that continues to endure. You know, I, I think about all of the um, big mega attractions that Disney is building now. You know, everything from your Guardians of the Galaxy type coaster with all this new patented technology and things that they create, and always pushing forward. You know, that that sort of envelope and and definitely designing something that's going to take your breath away. And then you look back at this classic from day one that remains just a very simple, easy ride with some scenes and some props and mm -hmm. uh, some added projections and technologies, yeah. sure. But we go back to this idea of it, it all doesn't have to blow us away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Simple storytelling still works magic. Yeah. yeah, it's true. I think that's why I love it so much. It's there's You don't have to go fast. You don't have to like add these crazy projections mm -hmm. and like you just knew. keep it simple. Walt knew. Just I just think there's still, there's still a huge market for doing small little... Uh, small little dark rides like that. I wish they would do more. I really Absolutely. Do. I mean, even even Frozen out in in Orlando mm -hmm. is it kind of bridges the gap between like the technology and still kind of an old fashioned dark it is a ride. Great balance. Yeah. And uh, and that's that's one of those things that I wish they would just make more of those. Not everything has to be super exciting, like you said. It can all be about storytelling. Maybe one day. How about number two? Number two, pirates. Mm. I love pirates. Even when I was a kid. I that okay, so I don't like the dark when I was a kid, but I really liked pirates. Doesn't make any sense. So um, just like getting into the ride, just going in the queue, mm -hmm. hearing the song, and then finally you get in the boat, and then you just go on the bayou, and it's just calm and peaceful, and then you get to see people eating at Blue Bayou, <laughs> and then and then it's just calming, and then you know you have the skull talking to you, and then at that point it's just like the anticipation of the drop mm -hmm. it's just so exciting and then you just go down and then all of a sudden it's just the music's playing really really loud and you're just like i'm in it like yeah. this is awesome and then just i don't know the smell is really awesome like i don't know that is it's a just, very unique smell. it's a it very is, unique yeah. smell but it, it's just like i don't know it's like a hug because mm -hmm. you're like i'm gonna have such a fun time it's a really <laughs> great it's like a 15 minute ride yeah. so you yeah. know you're gonna like relax and actually enjoy it um, I think if you smelled that smell in your house, you'd be very worried. I would be. Very, <laughs> I'd be like Tyler. But, uh, oh, what's going on? We need to do some. Is that plumbing. mold? Uh, yeah, I know. But I when you smell it there, you're like, oh yeah, magic. Yeah. It, <laughs> it's weird. And then, um, and you know, like they added a couple new things. They took away, um, you know, the auction scene, mm -hmm. but the new addition of like the octopus, and then. He's just so cute. I don't know. It's just so lovable, and I feel like they need to like make little plushies of this like little octopus. Yeah, that'd be cool, um, actually. Wouldn't that be adorable? That. Uh, you can do like a little side oh, thing, just like right over there. <laughs> add, it, add it to the. Uh, go ahead and add it to the other shoulder. Yeah, you know, I'm yeah. still trying to get the porg too. So. so oh, oh, and the porg. Oh, oh I didn't man. know they had a little well, porg. You put the porg on top of your head. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Three places for it. Yeah, I love it. And then, but then like they added this new feature, which is kind of like the feature that's in Figment. Um, of the butterfly effect. So when you're passing through, you see uh, a pirate mm. and he is like has a he's like a skeleton. Mm. And then as you slowly pass, you start noticing that he's turning human. And that brings, you know, and it bridges the gap that we used to not have where right. it was the skeleton scenes and then it was going back into when they're living. So uh, I I loved that feature when we when we saw it. I was just like, oh my gosh, this is just like the figment effect. I don't think I even <laughs> noticed until I went back and watched because I was filming it the oh, first time right. I wrote it. So I, I when I went back it. and watched, that's when I like blew my mind. I was like, <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't even notice that. I, um, that was like my favorite part. I, I'm so glad they added that. It was just so simple. Again, Do you feel simple. the same way about Walt Disney World's Pirates of the Caribbean, Magic Kingdom there? Uh, no, um, not really. I just, for some reason, I really love our drop because it just, it just like pushes you into the story sure. and then you just have it. And then like this, I feel like ours is louder with like the Yoho Yoho song. So it's just kind of like you drop and you're like, boom, you're in it. Mm. Um, and then ours just seems like more fulfilled. Like yeah. it's going from like, you know, it's kind of like end of the beginning of the pirate life. And then in Florida's, I feel like it's, it's shorter, but I don't get that fulfillment. Mm. I, I'm maybe it's because of the end, like, cause ours, you end with like the, the dueling pirates, but then you go up and then you see Jack and then you you make your way into like the real world yeah. and then you see the queue again and you kind of like have that sense of closure. And then in Florida, it's like, oh, there's like all the pirates in jail. 
there's Jack, get out. Yeah, right. You know, it does feel I don't more know. complete in California. Weird? Yeah, it's yeah. definitely <laughs> bookended much better in California. I mean, they had to, they built that ride specifically with the knowledge that they had to get under the train tracks and get away from, you know, right. get away from uh, where the rest of the park was. And that made it, made that ride better. You know, they, they actually had to deal with some issues that made that ride better. In Orlando, they just had limited space. So, um, Unfortunately, it does feel a little truncated over there. I yeah. do like it during Halloween because they have live actors during the yeah, Mickey's Not fun. So Scary Halloween party, which was kind of fun yeah. um, in like the Florida version, Got to which I thought was really myself cool. Earlier this year, it, isn't it, that it, neat? There, there's something, and I feel like there were more this year than uh, last year when they definitely. began. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, what a you know to to really envelop you in the whole story of pirates to have that because they have such a long queue space. You know, they to do. get in yeah. there. Their queue is really cool. It is. Uh, yeah, they can build I'll give it. it. I'll give it that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You bet. But that was really, I mean, just having the live actor, like, on um, during, like, the, the ship scene where they're, like, the ship's, like, bombing the mm. city. They actually had one of the guys on the castle side yelling. I forgot what he was yelling. And then one of our friends, she actually was paying attention. I was just like, oh, God, there's, like, a live actor. That's really cool. And then she was paying attention to what he was saying. And then we got to, like, another area where there was live actors. And then she responded with what they needed to say, they were, look, they were I looking don't know. for they were looking for somebody. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then so then they it fed on to like the live actor. So that was really cool. Like I really yeah. liked the like the if we had live actors, I think that would oh, like raise the, the bar yeah, even really, more. Yeah. But now we don't have the Halloween party in Disneyland anymore. Yeah, so maybe but that's day. fine. Maybe they'll put it in like another ride. That'd be really cool. That would be. Well, oh so we have uh, Peter Pan number one. Oh my gosh. Okay, Pirates sorry. of the Caribbean number two. <sighs> And uh, number three. Indiana Jones. Wow. wow. Yeah. Uh, I adore the queue. I I love it when it works. They have, when like you go to the bamboo area and then you pull the bamboo, like dagger, well, daggers? I don't know. They come down. <laughs> bamboo the, daggers? Whatever, like yeah, yeah. the daggers come down and you're like, the oh my spikes. gosh, that's really cool. Yeah. Spikes, yeah. And like the spikes come down and you're like, wow, that's really cool. And then you, um, the guy that's in the, I don't know, what is it? Like a tunnel? Not tunnel, like a... Oh my gosh, now I had like a little brain fart. The well. The well, well, That's the word. Uh, So, you know, and you pull the rope and then it just says like certain things and I think that's really neat. Um, And then when you go in, you have the, you start off with the earthly riches and Mm -hmm. you, who knows what you're going to get. And then I just love when you go through that beginning room and it's just mind blowing and like you get like glittering gold or whatever and like you had just like all this like treasure around you're like oh my gosh this is so cool and then when you cross the bridge and like just that whole layout i wish i could see it lights on like i i really do too that always every time we go in that area i always have to just keep like looking around i can't just like stare forward and then like the fire is blasting by you there's a lot going on in a short amount of time yeah Yeah. it's so uh, that's like my favorite part um and I think just like how you go fast, you go slow, and you're like getting whipped around. Mm-hmm. And I think that's just super exciting. Like one of the exciting rides where it's like not super, it's like not super scary where yeah. you can like handle it because your adrenaline takes over because you're so excited to do it. Even with snakes. Um, not like, yeah, um, if it was spiders, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of a ride in the world that makes you feel more like you're in an action adventure movie than this yes. ride. I completely agree. Um, the music happening. Uh, yes. Yeah, the, the, oh. between the music, the special effects, the fire, the way you're just bouncing around everywhere, and even like the new projections that they added a few years ago with right. uh, with all the stuff when you're entering the different rooms. It's one of those things that as a whole entire package, it, it, it is top of the list in the world, I think. When, um, I, when I would come to visit Disneyland uh, and I lived up in Northern California, so I'd come maybe once a year or every couple of years, so it wasn't like I got to come very often. When I would come, it would be that attraction, that cue, that theming that would immerse me so much that I think I'm completely captivated. I am totally lost in this thing. I have no idea where I'm at physically in this park. I lose my, you know, sort of orientation. I, yeah. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. there's so many twists and turns even getting to the ride itself. Yeah. And I thought that I knew when I was there. Now I'm at Disneyland. Yeah. That yeah. sort of an attraction that just takes you away and and you live in another world all of a sudden. That's what Disney does best. And even just the way they built it into the Jungle Cruise and things like that mm-hmm. is just impressive how, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but when I was a kid and that ride first opened, I didn't, I didn't see any of the construction or anything like that. Like they hit it very well. And so it honestly did, the story was, you know, oh, we found this hidden temple that, you know, over here in the jungle. 
And it literally felt like that. Wow. You know, like it literally felt like this is a brand new thing that I didn't even know existed. And it kind of blew my mind, especially when the Jungle Cruise boats are going by. It's one of those things that just top immersion, just top level immersion. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's nothing like it. I do love that cheesy video, too, in the beginning. Oh, yeah. I don't know. With with Sala? Yeah, with Sala. Like, just like this, like, super cheesy video. But it's just like. Like, he acts like he invented seatbelts. Yeah. (laughs) It's just, it's like perfect because it's just like. If, you, yeah. if you've never written it before, come to Disneyland and write it because you'll agree. It's, <laughs> it's a must-do. So number one, Peter Pan's Flight. Mm-hmm. Number two, Pirates of the Caribbean. Mm-hmm. Number three, Indiana, Indiana Jones. Jones. Adventure. Uh, Spectacular.